Today on Living Local Carolina, I'm here with mental health counselor Tamara, and I'm so glad to be able to speak with her. We've spoken before about grief and overcoming grief, and today we're talking about another form of grief. We spoke about bereavement, and now we're talking about loss in different ways. So Tamara, it's good to have you on again with us. Yes, it's great. It's great to have you back in my office. <laughs> yes, yes. So Tamara, tell us about grief when it comes to loss in other ways. Sure. So as we mentioned in the last segment, the, the most common thought is to lose a significant other. However, there's more ways to grieve. So for example, a loss of a job, um, which means a loss of income for a family, um, a loss of a serious relationship, um, and then even as severe as um, a diagnosis of a new um, life-changing illness or maybe an accident that has caused someone to be physically impaired, all those things can bring around grief symptoms. And so how do you overcome this type of grief? What are some tips that you have for us on that? Sure, so these type of losses will still kind of follow the same guidelines of the five stages of grief, which are uh, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. Um, however, you know, we need to be aware in this situation that we sometimes have two parties that are grieving. So not only the person that has experienced the life change, but sometimes the family that surrounds that you know, goes through it as right. well. The first thing I guess I would encourage um, in a counseling setting is to think about the positives of what you do have in your life. Instead of mm. focus on what you've lost, think about what I do have. Um, also, don't be afraid to advocate for yourself. So for example, if you've lost a job, you know, go um, network with, you know, places around you to figure out how you can get another job um, or ask you know family members um, if you're someone who has seen somebody lose a job and you want to help I go to that person and ask like how can I help you how can I support and advocate for you mm -hmm.